the Great Indian Disagreement on Demonetization GST, why economists are split. Why is there a decline in growth rate? Why the slow GDP growth is a matter of concern for India? What were the main impacts of demonetization? Other than demonetization, what factors have been responsible for slow GDP growth? GS Paper 3, Indian Economy What is the context about? Over the past few weeks, a ferocious disagreement has raged between several Indian economists. The heart of the matter concerns the impacts of demonetization and the goods and services tax GST, on India's broader economy. Given that this disagreement or quarrel is over interpretation rather than fact, the true story over the Indian economy is more likely going to be made more visible and intense in the streets rather than revealed with any clarity by expert economists. Why is there a decline in growth rate? The slower growth is due to the decline in inventories ahead of the rollout of GST combined with the demonetization exercise. The rate has come down predominantly due to pre-GST effect as manufacturers were focusing more on clearing the existing stock. Chief Statistician of India said rising cost of intermediate goods and inventory de accumulation in anticipation of GST implementation led to manufacturing growth falling sharply. Though he expects a revival in the second and third quarters as manufacturers normalize their stock positions, subject to how well they have integrated with GSD. Why the slow GDP growth is a matter of concern for India The slower pace of GDP growth also means, India lost the tag of the world's fastest growing large economy for the second straight quarter to China which grew 6.9%. The Reserve Bank of India said that its Industrial Outlook Survey had revealed a waning of optimism in Q2 on capacity utilization, profit margins and employment. With capacity utilization expected to weaken this quarter, according to the RBI, and with surveys suggesting that consumer sentiment has deteriorated steadily in August, the auguries for a demand rebound are far from promising. The pickup in government expenditure was reflected by the latest Controller General of Accounts data which showed that, the government exhausted 92.4% of fiscal deficit target within the first four months, April to July, of the fiscal year 2017-18. What were the main impacts of demonetization? Following are the main impacts of demonetization. Currency crunch in our economy. Welfare loss for the currency using population. Consumption was adversely affected. Less consumption lead to less production, which in fact lead to less employment and growth. And finally tax revenue decreased. Loss of growth momentum. Increase in bank deposits and reduced interest rate. Countering of black money. Check on counterfeit currency. Other than demonetization, what factors have been responsible for slow GDP growth? There are multiple villains to blame, though, the most immediate being the damper of demonetization of November 2016 and the implementation of the Goods and Services Tax GST, in July this year. GST implementation brought down manufacturing sector growth from 5.3% in January to March to 1.2% in April to June. In the post-Rabe season quarter we expected strong agricultural growth but it was pulled down by the animal husbandry sector. Lack of PPP projects is clearly our biggest problem. Savings from physical assets were being moved from gold and real estate to financial assets. The second largest job creator after agriculture is real estate and construction growth has already tapered. 